Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your systems. So today we've got a user um, going by the letter C, so a massive thank you to them for sending in their system. And their system is called the Solar System from Memory, so it seems like another person is taking up the challenge of creating the Solar System just off their own head. So without further ado, let's go ahead and have a look at what we've got here. So Solar System from Memory, here it is. Okay. Right, so... Hello, this is my recreation of the solar system from memory, inspired by the ones from mine about a Neptunian guy. Hey, excellent, dear. This simulation uses only random objects, and I did not look up any stats from the internet. However, I did look up the references to some planets as a visual reference. This simulation includes all planets, some of the dwarf planets and moons, and three asteroids of LS, Pasta, and Chiron. Excellent, dear. Okay, and it's looking like he's done a pretty good job, actually, with the orbits. So we will have a look and see what we've got here. So first of all, Mercury. So I know off the top of my head, this is 2,440 kilometers in radius. Let's see how he has done it. So where are we? Kilometers. So he's got that correct. Excellent. And he's made a pretty good looking one as well. You know, a very good representation of a Mercury. So he's made all the objects from scratch. He hasn't used any of the uh, ones in game. He's built them all from scratch. So that's a very good representation of Mercury there. Very nice. Um, orbital distance as well. I mean, oh, I don't know the rough... Uh, Numbers of the orbits, I have to say. I mean, we can look by days, but Mercury's about 88 days, isn't it? Ooh, 120 days. Ooh, I think that's a little further out than it should be. I think it should be 88. So, for instance, I think it should be like that. But we'll see. I mean, just quickly, uh, we will use the power of the internet to decide the answers and see. Uh, so, let's see. So, Mercury. I'm sure it's 88 days. Uh, Mercury orbit. It is 88 days. Okay, so it's a little higher there. Okay, next up we got Venus. So Venus should be about 220 days. So 228, okay. I believe that is correct off the top of my head as well. There it is. So we've made obviously Venus looking very realistic as well. Underneath, you've got the red. Yeah, that does look good as well. Very nice. Size-wise, 0.95 Earths. I mean, yep, 6,055. That is really correct to my, to my uh, knowledge. We've got Earth here. Obviously one massive Earth. The game does it for you there. There you go. Obviously, recreating the constants isn't really possible, but there you go. So, he's made the Earth. Looking good. So, obviously, high stats as well, because it is Earth. Very nice. Got the moon as well. Cool, cool. He's made the moon. He's even got the craters on it. It's really cool, isn't it? There you go. Okay, 13 days orbit, though. I think the moon should be a little further than that. I think it should be around 29 days. It takes roughly a month, doesn't it? So, I think it should be more like that. What is the moon's orbital? Uh, if I just look at the moon's orbit. I'm sure it's about 29 days. 27 days, okay. Cool. So there we are there. Okay, so yeah, he's done it pretty accurate so far. Uh, next up we've got Mars. So he's made Mars look pretty good as well. The red Phobos and Deimos there as well. Looking good. Uh, Mars radius should be around 3,400, I think. 3,389, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Rotation period, a little longer than a day as well, because Mars's rotation is around 24 hours as well, just a little longer. 2.15 years. What's Mars's orbit? Mars is 687 days around the sun. So, what is that in days? Let's have a look. 786, so a little further out than that Mars's actual numbers. Okay. Then we've got Pallas, Vesta. I do not know any of these off the top of my head. Sirius, yeah, I, I ain't got a clue. If I'm perfectly honest, I do not know Sirius's orbit. Oh, we'll do Sirius. We'll skip the other two, but we have, we'll do Sirius. That's one of the, the major objects. So Sirius is 1,682 days, and he has put... Oh, well, not hours, days. 1,643. Oh, wow. Wee, he's right on the mark there. Very, very close. I mean, yeah, in the same hundred as well. Cool. All right. Moving on. Jupiter. Over here. So... 11.9 years for Jupiter. And look how well he's remade Jupiter. Very cool. Nice. It's got the Galilean moon. So that IO is definitely too close. I can tell you that from a mile off. Um, Jupiter's orbit is 12 years. And he has gone with... So Jupiter is... 11.9. Yeah, pretty much spot on the mark there. But yeah, IO is definitely too close to Jupiter there. I think all of the Galilean moons are too close. IO distance... Oh, distance from Jupiter, so it should be about 628 million kilometers. So, what's that in days? IO orbit. 
So it should take 42 hours. So it should be more like so it should be more like this. That's Io's or actually a little bit. So yeah, it always um, surprised me how far away Io actually was because this is a, this is a good point actually is when you saw concept art, you know, I remember when I was younger, you know, when I was a boy, you'd see the concept art, and it always had Io pictured quite close to Jupiter. But in reality, that isn't the case. You know, Io is a fair distance from the, the mighty giant, um, as you can see here. So, for instance, if we did Europa, that's 85 hours as well. So, Europa even further out. So, this is what it actually appears like. So, 85, that's Europa. Ganymede should be 172 hours okay so hours one seven two so that's what danny b should actually be and then lastly callisto the mighty callisto should be 17 days so it'd be more like that for callisto roughly yeah so that is how they actually appear so you know the galilean moons they they are a lot further away than you think they are yeah, that's a good point actually you raised that is yeah I, I always thought they were a lot closer as well but yeah they are actually a fair fair distance away from the planet itself because if they were if they were too close if we pull it back to roughly what it was which is like there i think jupiter would start to actually try and tear that apart if it was that close in reality i don't know if it'll do it in the game but if we make it too close jupiter will just shred it yeah so it'd be yeah it could, well, oh my god <laughs> but yeah in theory this would happen if it did get if it was that close in real life i'd assume whoa that's a lot of explosion stuff but anyways uh moving on so saturn what have we got here I think Titan should be further away. I can tell that from first glance, but we will see. Um, okay, so Saturn. What do we got? So Saturn is 29 years. 29 year orbit for Saturn. The size looks pretty accurate already. Uh, if we look in kilometers, it should be about 59, 58,000. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 29.2 years. Spot on. That's Enceladus. So what is Enceladus' orbit? So Enceladus' orbit is 33 hours. So Enceladus should actually be more like this. So it would fit in with the ring of Saturn, remember, just on the edge of the ring. So if we added the ring for comparison as well. So where are we? Saturn. Just add the ring to Saturn. So that's roughly where Enceladus would sit. But remember, Saturn's rings do spread further out than the game shows in reality as well. Titan is 16 days. So how are we looking on Titan? So Titan's actually a little closer. I see, I thought it would be further away. But Titan's actually more like that, apparently. Okay. And then uh, lastly, uh, what was it? What was the other one there? Rhea. So Rhea, yeah, that would be uh, obviously closer than Titan. Let's see. So right, Rhea is 108 hours. What is it? Hang on. Oh, yeah, it's in, oh, yeah in days, aren't they? So this should be 108 hours. So it would be more like this. There you go. Okay, cool. But again, he's still got me, you know, fairly, fairly close. Uh, next, we've got Chiron here. I do not know the orbits for that, but, you know, that does look fairly correct, being in between Saturn and Uranus like that. Then we have Uranus itself. So 89 years. Yeah, I can tell you that's roughly spot on around 20 AU as well. But a little uh, thing of Uranus. More like that. There you go. So we've got Miranda. I think Miranda should be a lot closer. I don't know. Would Miranda be closer? Because, again, Uranus moons, I always thought they were closer than they actually were. So Miranda... It's 34 hours. 69. Okay, so you Miranda is more like that. And actually, just for uh, comparison, there you go. To be on its side, more like that. Okay. And then lastly, Titania. Largest moon of Uranus. Still smaller than Pluto, though. So Titania. 209 hours. So Titania is so a little closer as well. But there it is, 209 hours. And again, it'll be obviously on its side, like that. Okay, cool. And then lastly, Neptune. So 30 AU, I know this one, obviously. 30 AU, there you go. Looking good. And he's recreated Neptune very, very nicely indeed. Uh, we've got Proteus here. And then where's obviously our man Triton on the far edges? So Triton. So Triton is 141 hour orbit. So he's way, he's gone way overkill there. 141, there you go. It's been more like that for uh, Triton. Then Protus, what is Protus? I honestly don't have a clue for Protus. 
I mean, uh, Neptune's always been a weird one for the moons. You know, it doesn't have, you know, Triton really is the only major one. So this is actually 27 hours. So he's very, very close on Protoss. But there you go. So there's your answers for that. And then moving on, Pluto, further out. Cuts in orbit with Neptune as well. Looking very, very cool. 243 years. I think that is roughly... I want to say that's correct. Let's have a look. Pluto. So Pluto is... 248 years. Spot on. Oh, no. 243. Okay. So, yeah. Pretty much spot on there. Okay. Very nice. Hemea. Make Make. These are ones I don't know off the top of my head. So, Make Make. It is 306 years. He's got 301. So, again, very, very close. Very nice. Hemea. What is Hemea? Hemea is... 284 years. He's for 347, so Hermea is a little higher than it should be, so it should be more like 280. So it'd be more around there. Iris, we know this is a further out one. Very distant object, old Iris is. So. 558 years. He's at 580, very close. And then moving on to 2012. I, I don't even know which one this is, actually. Uh, Sedna. Sedna's looking pretty, pretty accurate. Sedna is one thousand or oh no eleven thousand years, eleven thousand four hundred years. He has gone for. Yep, there you go. Pretty much on the book. And then Planet Nine is also unknown because we don't know its full orbit. But you know there it is. It should be around ten thousand, roughly fourteen thousand. Yep. But here again, Planet Nine is completely up to your imagination, really. But it's made a quite a nice looking Planet Nine as well. I quite like that actually. So getting the lineup of all of the uh, systems. So. The solar system for memory here. Jupiter, sorry, Jupiter. <laughs> we'll call you down, buddy. There you go. So, I mean, if you look from a distance, you know, if I looked at that, I'd say, yeah, that's our solar system. You know, it, the, you, they're easy recognisable as the solar system planets. Very nicely done. The visuals are pretty spot on, you know. Very big thumbs up for me there. Titan's looking very cool, actually. Get a closer look at that in the sunlight there. Ganymede, Mercury, yeah, all bigger. Callisto, Hermia. Hermia's huge! What's going on with Hermia? Mayor, what's going on, man? You're massive. Poor old Io obviously lost uh, its size, but, you know, the Io's a little larger than the moon, isn't it? So, oh, dear. Poor old Io, man. That's not looking good. There you go. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put Io roughly to where it should be. So, it should be... Well, where's, there's the moon, isn't it? So, Io is there roughly. Europa's a little smaller than the moon as well. I think the dwarf planets are a little too large. Yeah, these should all be around a few hundred kilometres, not, not in the thousands. Um, but yeah, there you go. So yeah, pretty well done system though. So very, very nice job indeed to um, Mr. C in Discord. So massive thank you to them for sending this system in. And yeah, it was interesting stuff actually. Really, really enjoyed that. So cool. Really, really cool. Very, very good attempt at making the solar system from memory. So yeah, if you guys want to go up to the challenge, then yeah, definitely submit one if, you, uh, if you're feeling it. Because that's, that's a pretty cool actually. Very, very nice indeed. But yeah, guys, if that all said and done, Again, massive thank you to the user C. If you uh, like this video, make sure to press that like button. Subscribe for more helps on the journey to 30,000 subscribers as we're getting closer and closer by the day. Um, we're about 400 people away as of making this video as well, guys. So, yeah, really, really appreciate all your support. And, yeah, definitely press that button if you haven't already as, yeah, we're going to try and get that goal by the end of August. So, yeah, again, I really appreciate all your support. And, yeah, that all said and done, everyone. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.